to use jQuery to its fullest um, to keep my my styling and my HTML structure or content and my um, JavaScript or behaviors completely isolated from each other, then I want to actually make three separate files and make sure that I don't um, have spillover between the three of them. So here's my HTML file. I'm going to go ahead and make a CSS file and save it into the same folder as this. Let me find it. I have it in my drive here. Okay. Get to my jQuery section. It's my folder called site. I'm just going to call this styles.css. And then I'm going to also make a JavaScript file in the same place. And all the jQuery that I write is going to go inside this separate JavaScript file. Um, all the style rules that I make are going to go in the separate styles file or CSS file. And all the HTML that I write will stay. Um, inside its own file. So the first thing I need to use to, to, to be able to get to use jQuery is I got to go grab the link to the jQuery library. I'm going to use the Google hosted site. So I've got my site here. Here's the link to Google hosted jQuery library. I want to get the most recent one on here. Right now that's 3.x snippet. So I'm going to grab this and I'm going to go back to my page and I'm going to put that in the head section. And then I am going to link up my own file. Um, this has to be a separate set of tags. So I'm going to grab my scripts.js file because that's mine. And then I'm going to go ahead and link up my style um, sheet. So they're all connected. Okay. Once I've got all three of those things together, I can start writing. Um, so let me put some stuff in body so that I can grab it as an example. So I'll make an H1, and let's make a paragraph. And then I'm going to go inside my styles and I'm going to define a few classes. So let's call this red text Oops. and we'll make the color red just so we can do some obvious stuff. And let's make another class called uh, blue background or blue back. That's fine. Um, so background color. Um, and let's go into the script and let's write some jQuery. So the first thing I want to do is I want to wait till the document's ready to run anything. And to do that, I use my jQuery selector, which is a dollar sign and a set of parentheses. And I'm going to put dot ready. And when it's ready, I want to fire off whatever functions I put in here. And I'm going to make sure I have this closed already at the beginning. Okay. Um, let's listen for a click on a P tag. Oops as the event, and when that happens, we're going to fire off and take some actions. And what I want to do is I'm going to change all my P's. So let me select the P's again. Oops. Oh, I'm typing badly here. Okay. And let's add class. Let's add class, uh, what did I call it? Uh, red text. So it'll turn them red. Wait. And that means when the document's finished loading, it's going to listen for a click of any p tag, and when one is clicked, they're all going to turn red. Let's go verify that that works. Hopefully, everything is right. Here's my page loading up. Let's click the paragraph. Bam, they turned red. Awesome, that worked. Okay. Um, let's do something else just as an example. Let's have it when somebody clicks on the H1. Oops. Let's have it take that class off the P tag. And guess what? It's a remove class. These are nicely named uh, exactly what you think they should do. And let's have it um, change the background color of the H1 by adding the class called blueback that I'd find in my style sheet already. Let's see if that works. Brush this. Okay, that's red. 
that's blue and these have gone back to black. Awesome.